Today, I'm gonna try starting a fire with a knife and a ferro rod. And I am really gonna test myself because everything is soaking wet. The last time I came out here, it was close to zero degrees and there was a bunch of snow on the ground. The last several days, the weather has been in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And we've also had a lot of rain on those days. So right now, everything is soaking wet and the ground is absolutely saturated. So let's get on with it and see if we can make this happen. So the first thing that I need to do is try to find anything that's dry. And no matter how wet everything is around you, you should be able to find dry material. So in this little section right here, there's like these seed-like things and they feel relatively dry. But I'm gonna keep walking around to see if I can find anything better. Also in this area, there's a bunch of this dead grass. The good thing about this is it's above the ground so it's not wet but i don't know if this is going to be good fire starting material because it does feel kind of damp but i wonder if i can go like this and make all those fibers stand out and possibly catch flame that can work too so far i've got two options that i can use to possibly get a fire started but so far nothing to maintain it another very important thing that i need to do is find something to make a platform so i'm not trying to make a fire on top of stuff like this. I just came across something really cool. I wanna show you guys, hold on. This tree that fell down, there's all kinds of different mushrooms growing on it. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know anything about mushrooms though. Back to finding a platform for the fire. We need something flat and we need something dry. And I think I found something perfect. So as you can see, the bark from this tree is starting to peel off. And it's great too because the tree is already dead. I'm not a fan of peeling bark off of trees that are still alive if I don't have to. So let's go ahead and pull this off. This is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna harvest some of the dry material around here, relatively dry material, and use this as a way to transport it instead of having to make several trips back and forth. So you remember the grass and these seed-like things from earlier? I'm gonna go ahead and take some time here and get a nice bundle going and hopefully, Get a fire started. All right, two things are done. We have a platform for the fire, and we got some relatively dry material that once I rough it up some, should be able to take a spark and hopefully start a fire. Now I've got to find some dry wood. So how I'm gonna do this, is I know that everything on the ground right now is gonna to be too wet to use. So what I'm gonna to try to do is find the dead trees and pick apart the twigs and the limbs that feel dry and use that. So this looked like it was gonna be pretty dry. However, as I feel it, it just feels really damp. So I can't use it. That sucks because I was kind of excited. If we hadn't had all this rain, I guarantee you this stuff would go up like gasoline. So this tree right here is a good example of what I'm looking for. The tree itself is dead and it has a bunch of these little limbs on it that should be dry, relatively. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it apart and get all this small stuff like this and make another pile. So give me a few minutes. So I got myself a nice little bundle here. And remember, I'm not trying to make a massive fire or anything. I'm merely just testing myself to see if I can get one going at all. Set these down here. Now there is a lot of ways to find dry wood in conditions like this, especially if you have an ax, but that's not something that I'm gonna do today. Again, I just wanna see if I can get a fire started. And what I mean by that is dead stuff like this, the outside of it may be wet, but the inside of it almost always is nice and dry. So I wanna take this material that I found earlier and rough it up, and by doing this, it gives the spark more of an area to catch. So in honor of full transparency, I had to change things up a little bit. So this grass material, as I was starting to break it up, I noticed how unbelievably damp it was on the inside. So I can't use it. However, after some more searching around, I found some dry leaves that are super thin. And that tiny amount I gathered all around here. I was also able to collect some dry wood. Now the outside is soaking wet but the inside is completely dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some of the dry wood on the inside. So all I'm doing is using the ax and peeling away all the wet material.
and now I have some dry wood to work with. Now I'm gonna take my knife and make some really small slivers of wood. So give me a few minutes, I'm gonna make a nice pile of some dry wood, and I'll be right back. It's very important when doing stuff like this, you have a sharp knife. Trying to work with a dull knife and doing something like this is the quickest way to get yourself hurt. All right, so here we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, let it go, let it burn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Gotta feed it some, some air. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We have fire. So this whole sequence took me about an hour and a half to fully prep to start this fire. This little fire. I am very proud of myself. One quick thing to note though, is when it comes to fire starting, preparation is everything. If you don't do a full preparation to make a fire, chances are, you're gonna fail. So taking the time, especially in conditions like this, where everything is soaking wet, preparation really, really comes into play. <sighs> I guess I passed. Here's a quick tip for fire starting. These are just everyday Fritos, but let me show you something. These have such a high oil content, they almost act like a candle, which also makes these great fire starters. Look, it's still going. The more you know. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. You should know by now I'm not gonna forget you.